All right, um, so this is to show you what I do to teach the bow hold. Um, I'll have students just hand me their right hand and put a stick in the crease of their fingers and rest their pinky on top and then their thumb is across from their third finger. Um, we do a lot of tapping and counting how many times we tap, making sure the thumb is curved. I start in the middle of the dowel because they don't have to worry about supporting weight and I start upside down for the same reason. Um, here they have to actually hold it up, whereas here the hand curves to hold and they can see what they're doing. Um, and then, you know, we practice doing bow flips like that. Um, I'll have them do everything upside down first, whether it's tapping their finger. Thumb push-ups will look like this. They just press into the stick right here like that. Um, I'll have them tap their pinky. A lot of times when the other fingers they tap, this doesn't happen as much, but with your pinky, the first thing that happens is like that. So watch for that and then say, okay, can you curve your thumb now and tap your pinky? And then um, we'll do a bow flip. And if you notice after the first bow flip, have them check again and then make it a challenge. Can you do the bow flip five times keeping your thumb and your pinky curved? Um, from there, then I'll turn it sideways and we'll tap, same thing. Have them check the pinky. We'll turn upside down, same thing. And then at the end of the day, just to kind of stretch them, we'll do something like the wheels on the bus. So the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. And then this is a great time. You can stop in between verses and say, okay, check. Let's push our pinky or tap our pinkies and push our thumbs in a couple of times. All right, let's try it again. Now the, let's see, we could do the people on the bus go up and down, up and down up and down the people on the bus go up and down all through the town um, the door on the bus goes open and close open and close open and close the door on the bus goes open and close all through the town the uh, windows on the bus go let's see up and down up and down up and down the windows on the bus go up and down all through the town now this one's the trickiest one, so I save it for the end. And if you see a lot of um, bent thumbs and fingers and pinkies, I don't do it the first day. Um, but eventually you can do the wipers on the bus. Go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. Um, as you can see, I'm in the middle of the stick still. If everyone is holding their bow correctly, or if you notice that there's a... Just, there's a difference in the class where there's some people that are holding it correctly and some aren't um, or some are struggling to keep their fingers curved you can say okay those of you that have all your fingers curved you can move one hand down and you can just keep moving down so they have to support more and more weight until you get to the end of the stick which at this point is actually heavier than most of their bows are going to be so it's a great training tool that way um, the first day I never have I very rarely have students that I let go all the way down here um, and let's see other bow exercises I do are well I guess I'll do a different I'll do a different video for that